We've been cutting reeds now here for a couple of days. What we're lot of finding is a lot of plastic been accumulated over the years since it was last cut, which may have been about 20 or 30 years ago. As you can see here, there's also a lot of debris from the various tides, which is a bit of a menace. And my full-time job is a tobacconist in town, and I inherited this five years ago from my wife's stepfather who bought it. He did a lot of work. He built the footings for the motorway bridge that went across further. It was run by the RSPB for 20 odd years. They didn't want it anymore so it came back into the family. But the reed bed is moving out towards Topsham. So I want to manage the reeds and got permission from Natural England because this is an SSI area. And, what an, and that hopefully will try and keep the reeds back closer to the, uh, the, the canal bank. Nick Dre, Master Thatcher and Chairman of the Thatcher Association. Devon and Cornwall, yeah. Devon and Cornwall branch, yeah. who's been commissioned to find the reeds for a house. And all the reeds we're going to pick off this eight acreage here is going to go to a house in the South Hams. <laughs> I like your wig rounds, they've come up quite well. That's right, the boys are doing well. Yeah, yeah. We had a bit of a, the tide came in last night, as you can see from the frost line. Yeah. Have you had the wigwams fall down? Nope. Well, yeah, well, one when it was too small when we were ready, and then, it, yeah. and then once it's got its strength up, uh, they stayed up beautifully. They do stay up now. Yeah. <laughs> How's the sizing going? Yeah, he's, uh, he's not 100% sure of his technique, but he's, um, yeah, he's, he's, he's getting there, really. Down here is fine because you've got the maximum strength. Yes. Left up through there for the wear on the roof. Okay. Yeah. See, it's nice and straight, good and green, tough. And once that's dried and cleaned out, it'll make perfectly good thatching reeds. And they'll stay green, or they'll get green, or the green will come out. The well, green will gradually come, come out. out. It we'll, won't. It won't come out completely. Right. But uh, green is good. It's hard. I do like the River Exbury because I've I've actually thatched a property in Ead several years ago now, and we're talking what. 25, 30 years ago, and it's still on there, so it's yeah, it's absolutely fine. Yeah. So, to me, you've got a really good saleable product. Yeah. How many of our standard bundles then make to a, an average size roof? Once you've got them cleaned out, the three hands fan bundle, every ten foot by ten foot takes one hundred of those bundles. Ten foot by ten foot. Yeah. All right. So your average house, if, if your average house would take somewhere around the one thousand four hundred bundles. Yeah, so you've got a lot, <laughs> a lot of, of cutting, work to do. A lot of cutting, <laughs> a lot of cleaning, yeah. and a, it'll take up your area later on when the whole area right. is produced. Yes. You'll get approximately two houses out of this. They've got to stand here for about another month just to let all the sap drop and then off for storage until they're eventually used. Uh, on a property.